Hello, this is Lucas Salim, instructor at Course Careers with Robin, who recently landed her first entry level data analyst role. And so I'm here to talk with her about the process for getting that first role. Because when I look on LinkedIn or at other job sites at open data analyst positions, you'll see that there are often a hundred or more applicants. And so how do you, as someone without prior data analyst job title, land that first position, right? That's my first question for you, Robin. How did you succeed at landing your first data analyst entry-level position? So I lead into my experience in the aviation and uh, aerospace industries. And I also networked and I ended up getting hired because of someone I know. Mm -hmm. So it was the combination of this was an industry where you already had some background, right? And so if they're looking at data analysts in general, they see, oh, this is someone who's looking for this data analyst position with experience in the aerospace industry. And by the way, someone actually at the company knows this person. And so they can vouch for their work ethic and, and that, that type of thing, right? Yeah. And, and so that, that was how you landed the role. But let's go back before that uh, about the training you did and the preparation. And so you signed up uh, for my data analyst class at Course Careers. Um, and so why did you do that rather than just getting free online training? Yes, so there is an unlimited amount of free online training. And that's great if you have the time for it and you know what you need, but I didn't. I'm trying to break into a new job. So I wanted to learn enough to be able to pivot careers without wasting a bunch of time going above and beyond uh, what I needed to know for this job. So. It was very helpful to have the structure that Course Careers provided. And also some of the, uh, for example, like the industry terms, uh, cheat sheet and things like that to help me uh, succeed in my interview. Got it. And what other outside resources did you use either in terms of your training or in terms of your preparation for the job search process? So I used a career counselor, uh, my friend actually, I used a book called Cut the Crap, Get a Job, which is tailored toward recent college graduates, but had a lot of helpful information, even though I've been uh, out of college for quite some time. And I also used uh, the, career count, the Career Center and the library. They have some awesome resources and some of the librarians and career counselors there are extremely knowledgeable and connected and can help point you in the right direction. Gotcha. Um, and how did you decide you wanted to look at data analytics rather than a, a different field when you were thinking about making your career pivot? So I've always been a big fan of spreadsheets and uh, projects that include data and visualization. I find that very interesting. I get into a flow where hours pass and uh, it feels like nothing. So I did not realize that that is its own career path. And I had in my previous positions uh, taken on any opportunity that I could to do that kind of project. So I was able to, you know, add those to my resume uh, and kind of utilize the the prior jobs that I had, even though I wasn't a data analyst then. Right. I think there are a lot of people watching that probably have used data in their job, but they're not mm -hmm. officially data analysts, right? And so for those people, when they're putting together their resume, when they're going into interviews, they can say that they've done some work with data and that can really help to kind of facilitate that pivot, right? Because it's not a whole total 180. It's actually a shift of focus where you're moving more in the direction of doing data work, right? You were previously doing some, you were working with spreadsheets, you were using some data. And so you're kind of extending those skills, right? Um, and so that's great. I think that'll work for a lot of people listening. Um, how many roles did you apply for? Uh, was it 10, 20, 100? I did 20 really good applications with a tailored co cover letter and a tailored resume. So it was a lot of effort. It took a couple hours sometimes to get those into shape and use keywords from the job posting. Uh, but it, there was a lot more outreach. So I would say for every application I submitted, I was reaching out to five or 10 more companies to see if they were hiring or if they needed someone like me with my skills. Oh, okay, so you weren't just, actually there was a step even before submitting the resumes where you were just 
saying, okay, these are companies that seem to employ some data analysts. I'm just going to check in with the hiring managers and cold outreach and be like, hey, are you looking for anybody, even if you don't have a job post? Yes. And my rate of response was a lot lower on those. To be honest, that was the most difficult part of the process for me. I am an introvert, uh, but I enjoyed using the templates for that kind of outreach that was provided with course careers. Right, right. So you did that and then you uh, actually sent out about 20 applications where that were tailored. And then how, what response did you get to those 20 applications? I got two interviews and one job offer. Uh -huh. And when you sent those out, was that to the hiring managers or was that kind of through LinkedIn? How did you actually do that sending out? I applied through the company website. Okay. So not the form where you copy and paste everything on your resume and sent it that, yeah. But yeah. to make sure that human eyes actually looked at my application, that's where the outreach came in and the networking. So I have a few friends who work in various companies that have a referral program. And ultimately I got hired by a company through a referral from a friend. Got it. So when you send in that application, you'd also talk to your friend and say, hey, I applied, you know, or even in the application form, sometimes it'll say, did anyone from our company refer you? And you put in their name, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And so what was the interview process like for these two, two positions uh, that you interviewed for? It was pretty straightforward for both. I had a short screening call with HR uh, just to ask about the salary expectations and things like that. And then I had a longer interview of about an hour, an hour and a half with the manager for the open position. And I was asked some data analytics analytics questions some questions that were like, you know, tell me about a time when you disagreed with your boss. Mm -hmm. Behavioral uh, questions, basically. Right, yeah. And then the others were about uh, previous experiences working with data. Mm -hmm. um, and what advice would you give to others who are looking to break into data analytics? So definitely take advantage of any experience that you have in the industry where you may have worked or gotten an education. Uh, that's really valuable, that industry knowledge, even though you may not have been a data analyst. And then once you have that data analyst title, then start looking for you know your, your dream job, uh, that remote position or, or whatever it may be. It's easier to transition industries once you have that title. That advice came from my career counselor. Got it. Uh, the yeah. other thing is that you should definitely utilize any connections that you have. So talk to your friends and your mom's hairdresser or whoever it may be to find out if anyone has uh, connections to a company that may be hiring. Yep, yep, right. So if you can possibly do data work in your current role, figure out how to use some data in your current role, do that and work your network and then take the time to sort of customize your applications. Don't just hit the easy button and send out the same resume and cover letter everywhere. Um, yes. so that's great, Robin. So congratulations on landing your first role. And I appreciate your, your taking the time with me today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And good luck to everybody out there who's uh, looking to pivot careers. Yep. Yep. Take care, Robin. Thanks.